Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're tackling a question many of you have. How to install Windows 11 on older hardware? It's 2025, Windows 10 support is ending. And a lot of us are wondering if you can breathe a new life into existing machine with the latest OS. We'll explore the official requirements, the common roadblocks, and the workarounds that might get running Windows 11, but with a clear understanding of the potential risks. First, let's quickly recap the Windows 11 system requirements. Microsoft has set a higher bar than Windows 10, primarily around security. Here's what you need to officially. When gigahertz or faster with two or more cores and a compatible 64-bit processor or SOC, 4 gigabytes of RAM 64 or larger storage, UEFA BIOS mode and security capable, TPM 2.0, DirectX 12 capable graphics or WDDM2X and 9-inch with SD resolution 720p display. The biggest hurdles for older hardware are often the TPM 2.0 requirements and the CPU compatibility. Microsoft maintains a list of supported processors and many older CPUs are under Add. TPM 2.0 as a security module that's not present on all older motherboards. Now we might be wondering why the strict zero requirements. Microsoft's focus is on improving security. TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot help protect against malware and sophisticated attacks, and they want a more secure ecosystem. They also want a more reliable and performant experience. And older hardware can sometimes struggle. Okay, let's get to the heart of the matter. Installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, there are workarounds, and it's very clear. These are not official supported by Microsoft, you might encounter issues and you won't get official support. Also, the landscape can change and a workaround that works today might not work tomorrow. Here are a few common methods registry trick. This involves modifying the Windows registry to bypass TPM and CPU checks during the installation. Modified ISO. This involves using tool to create modified Windows 11 installation ISO that keeps the compatibility checks. Repos. This popular tool can create a bootable USB pen drive and has options to remove the hardware requirements during the process. I'm going to show you a general process but I can provide step-by-step -step instructions for every single motherboard because they can be complex and change. Warning. Installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware can lead to system instability, lack of updates, and potential security vulnerabilities. Proceed at your own risk. It's crucial to understand the risks. No official support. Microsoft won't help you if you run into problems. Potential instability. Windows 11 might not run smoothly on your hardware. You could experience crashes, errors, and performance issues. You might have trouble finding compatible drivers for your older hardware. No guaranteed updates. Microsoft has stated that unsupported system might not receive updates, including critical security updates. This is the biggest risk, and unpassed system is always vulnerable. Future Windows 11 updates may make your system progressively slower. Now that is 2025. Let's talk about the performance. Even if you can get Windows 11 installed, how will it run? This really depends on how old your hardware is. A slightly older but still reasonably powerful system might be okay, but a very old machine is likely to struggle. Keep in mind that Windows 11 is designed for newer hardware and updates over time tend to increase the source usage. Now we'll talk about the alternatives. Before we take long, consider some alternatives. Stick with Windows 10 that is temporarily. Yes, Windows 10 support ends in late 2025. But if your system is really old, it might be the most stable option for now. Linux distributions or open lighter can run well on older hardware. There are many user-friendly distros like Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and Pop OS. Now the best option is upgrading hardware. If possible, consider upgrading a new machine that meets Windows 11 system requirements. This is the best long-term solution. So can you install Windows 11 on older hardware in 2025? Yes, it is possible with workarounds. So do you? That's a more complicated question. If you are tech savvy, understand the risks, and are willing to troubleshoot, it might be worth a try. But for most people, especially as time goes on, the risks of instability and security vulnerabilities outweigh the benefits. Consider your options carefully and prioritize a stable and secure computing experience. Let me know your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Have you tried running Windows 11 on older hardware? And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech insights. I'll see you in the next video.